Body cam video can make or break a case in court. With today's tech, the public has come to expect the proof of what really happened to be in the video and for it to come out quickly. But the law leaves police departments with a lot of room for interpretation. News 8's Jesse Pagan breaks down what the law says you're allowed to see and when. And we want to warn you, some of the video on this can be disturbing. Steven, I'm going to shoot you. In the age of tech, Drop video of police now. encounters and use of force involving law enforcement can be critical. Law enforcement leaders like Escondido Police Chief Ed Varso agree. Body cam footage is very valuable, but we also understand that body camera footage doesn't necessarily share every detail. Chief Varso gave the green light to release video of one of his officers shooting and killing 59-year-old homeless man Stephen Olson in April. The department says Olson approached the officer with a pipe in hand, even after warnings. Advocates say Olson wasn't a threat. Officer Moore has used these. The video published by the department was not the raw footage. It was edited. Olson's body was blurred and voiceover commentary was added. For that purpose, it's more than just sharing raw body cam footage. It's also about sharing what else we know. Varso says the goal was to explain more of what they knew, things you may not see in the video, like the department's other run-ins with Olson and why the officer ultimately decided to shoot. It's perfectly permissible for the department to do that. California law gives agencies 45 days to release body cam video as they investigate the case, but they can continue to push it off every 30 days, given they can prove releasing it will hurt the case more than help and can do that for up to a year. When they really have to meet a, a high standard for uh, not disclosing, which is called clear and convincing. Gibson says as long as departments aren't deliberately misleading the public, they're acting within the law. And since all of us now have cameras in our pockets, many agencies are pushing to get ahead of the curb. Kept waiting for the de-escalation tactics. Obviously, they, they use other de-escalation tactics. At the time of the shooting, advocates criticized the department and pushed for the release of the footage. Law enforcement's under a lot of scrutiny, um, and we are continuously trying to find ways to, to bridge those gaps. Chief Varso acknowledges police is at the center of a nationwide conversation on race and abuse of power. He says putting out as much information as possible is one way his department is trying to resolve it. Now, aside from the California state statutes, several law enforcement agencies have their own local policies on how they handle body cam footage. For example, San Diego's pol single police's 16 page policy on how the camera should be used is right on their website. The district attorney's office is still investigating that Escondido shooting. Carlo Marcello.